Hello there guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video I'm going to show you how you can make money out of your free £1 tote bet that most of us are getting today and this is a regular thing that they give out. Um, I did do a video yesterday about value betting on GovBet365 accounts. Uh, it's a really random video that you might get some value out of but there's some there's some important information there if you're a long term better so give that a look guys. Now I did post a video a month ago, I'll leave this link in the description about how I won £102 from a free tote place pot. And I just placed my tote credit used today. The reason I'm making a second video about this, I've won this three times in the last six weeks. Granted, of course I've been lucky. But when I won that £102, I posted it on Twitter because I also won some other money on the 5 up with VBet. I had a purple patch. Is a lucky patch and also won it again at tote play spot i won 11 pound and also won it again um as you can see from this picture here i won it on um a week ago at ascot and i won 53 pound although i used a pound of my stake there so what i'm going to do because i've already done this but i messed it up i'll do a live recording of another play spot and explain what you um, need to do and a little bit about play spots so a play spot is similar to a what you'll get by the way when you log into your account you have free play spot there you just need to tick it but as you can see my credit has been used so it won't come off your balance if you've got a balance there if you haven't got a balance there fair play so a play spot is like an each way bet if there's nine runners it will go to the first second or third if there's five runners it goes to the first or second in the instance if there was a non-runner there'd be four runners and therefore that would go on the win only another important but important piece of information is when you've got races like this where there might be a joint favorite of say four to one of two of them which is 5.0 if you did this selection here called unnamed favorite then that would then go on the lowest card number that would be the favorite now the reason i say about selecting unnamed favorite is because if you dislike horse racing and want to get this out of the way with you could just tick unnamed favorite on every one there for the sake of this video i'm going to do that now the dividend if you ticked unnamed favorite for every single one is probably going to be the lowest dividend prep i can say pretty much 99.9 percent .9 sure that'll be the lowest dividend you can possibly get because a tote play spot is like the lottery where if there's more people that have got these selections that will be reduced payout because there'll be so many people that have got these and bearing in mind that's the favorite there'll be more people on the favorite than anything else so if you wanted to stand a chance of a bigger payout but of course a less chance of winning you can go for an outsider or something like that but a good piece of information about how dividends are made more is if the favorite is not included in the place so let's see this four to nine shot here uh if that wasn't placed this dividend would be a lot more because there would most people are going to be on this four to nine favorite so what you do then is put one pound in there tick your tote credit and press place bet now the chance of me getting a fourth one up running is quite slim i by the way there's another bet called a scoop six this bet here um, where is it? I can't find. There it is. Scoop six. Now that's a, a, a tote play spot and a jackpot where they can all win. I've twice been in the last leg of a scoop six and lost, which is pretty gutting considering one of the times it was a big payout. I could have won about a hundred thousand pound, and I was one out, and I didn't have enough time to lay it because the first time it happened was in two thousand and one, and the second time I have, it happened was on Valentine's Day on 2015 of course i remember that vividly because i only just realized at the last minute about that so what about laying play spots yeah you can lay play spots um but it's not worth messing around with laying play spots unless in my opinion you get to the last leg so let's say we've got every single place up here and we've got it all going on this one here we could then lay the place on bet or markets or matchbook and what we would need to know is what will we likely to be paid out so if you look at my other video about play spots this one here i'll show you how to use the tote play spot calculator and estimate what the dividend is going to be because 
everything's electronic obviously you can know how many tickets are riding onto each horse of the last one so i'll give that a video look guys um this is of course is for free um i've got some videos on sharbin i did some sharbin lately i does a few horses i'm only going to show one of them here this by Eid, which is 8 to 15 which in fractions sorry decimals is 1.53 you can use these calculators on my website i've got you can see an early payout calculator each way calculator rule four calculator and this fractions conversions one that spread x kindly let me use and i laid that for 1.41 so although i wouldn't recommend laying that low when you're on zero percent commission and also the likelihood of that horse winning um it's worth getting involved with. i did do some others i do regular do sharpin so check out my sharpin playlist i'll leave that link in the description box um but other than that guys please subscribe if you're not subscribed if you're into betfair trading check out this dobbin video here dobbin is probably i recommend the first port call to get into if you're if you know about trading and you just want to test the water a little bit it's quite interesting because the reason i say start off on dobbin is because i did do another video down here called dobbin modified now you can change a dobbin stands for double or bust so obviously if you back something at odds of 5.0 then you'd lay at half of the odds and then you'd get your double your money but with dobbin modified i've shown on there how you can reduce the risk and increase the payout so there's some interesting videos there guys if you're into betfair trading too so please subscribe and i'll see you in the next video